Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and it's time for our monthly series of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine during the previous month, February 2022. Now this year I changed it up a little bit. We have six RTX 3060 LHR cards against AMD's RX 6600 XT. Why did I choose the 3060 LHR? Well, the LHR cards are more readily available than the full hash rate or non-LHR cards. Obviously, things change or progressively get better for the LHR cards, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Now, you will see a difference. For example, Ciro is the most profitable when we're looking at the 3060 LHR, but when we're looking at the 3060 uh, you know, TI full hash rate, Ethereum is the most profitable with Ciro uh, being in the fifth or fourth slot. It really just depends, but it still is very profitable to mine either or. Um, and right now at time of filming with the current market conditions, you know, you're averaging anywhere from $8.50 to almost $6 with six RTX 3060 LHR GPUs. But on the AMD side, you see a slight difference. Now we are close to the $8 um, or six dollars uh, and some change on AMD if we're mining Ethereum, but you can see the next coin down drops quite significantly. But Firo is the second most profitable at five dollars and fifty cents, or three eighty-four, around four dollars after electricity. Whereas AMD, or excuse me, Nvidia has a number of other coins that it can mine besides Ethereum that is still very profitable even after electricity. So either way, you got to pick and choose. It really depends on your mining rig, your setup, your configuration. Whattomine.com is a great resource to utilize, and you should be using it as a miner uh, to just try to you know, keep up with the most profitable project if you're trying to auto-exchange XYZ coin into fiat currency. Otherwise, if you're just trying to stack those sets, it still would be beneficial to mine the coin that is the most profitable for your rig. Uh, but moving on to the top 10, what we got for February 2022 is as follows. You can see Ciro took over that number one spot recently, but Ethereum has been right there uh, for throughout most of the month. So technically Ethereum is number one, but we're just going to go through it. So Ciro, Ethereum, Ergo, Cortex, BitTube Cash, Firo, Ravencoin, Flux, Conflux, and Eternity. Now Xano and Aeon were making a strong push at the beginning of the month. But as things pushed out, uh, you know, continued throughout February, we had an extensive dip, uh, extreme consolidation, ex extreme fear, and we just kept moving sideways, obviously impacting minor, not so much minor rewards because I was still making the same amount as Ethereum, but I wasn't making the same amount against the fiat. Uh, now, on the AMD side of things, our top 10 cryptocurrencies were Ethereum, Firo, Cortex, Ethereum Classic, Ravencoin, Ergo, Quarkchain, Ryo, Flux, and Equilibra. Now Conceal and Ether1, again, we're swapping back and forth in the top 10, out of the top 10. Uh, but, you know, really looking at these charts, you can't go wrong with Ethereum. Mine as much of Ethereum as you can now before the transition happens. Whether or not that will be in June, July, as the devs stated, I seriously doubt it. I think we might get delayed again. It may not be to the end of this year, but that'll be a different video for a conversation for a different video. But get as much Ethereum as you can or stack those sets as far as Ethereum. You can't go wrong with, uh, you know, one of the Kryptonite GPU type coins, right? Whether it's Ryo, Equilibra, Conceal. You can't go wrong with Ravencoin because they're both, they're in the top 10 on both sides. Flux is looking really strong for both AMD and Nvidia as well. And then, you know, Ergo, maybe Ethereum Classic, a little bit of that. I know Nvidia, Ethereum Classic is not strong on Nvidia, uh, but Ergo's there and a couple other choices. So, you know, BitTube Cash and Eternity share the same uh, mining algorithm. And, you know, it just, it's not as profitable on the AMD side of things. So pick and choose your battles, but Ethereum you can't go wrong with, Rainbow Coin you can't go wrong with. Ergo taking it's a little bit it's faltering, but it's still in the top ten. And then one of the Kryptonite underscore GPU type coins uh, and Cortex obviously is supported because of the amount of VRAM we have in these GPUs. But those are the top ten for both Nvidia and AMD. We do this series every month, looking at the data uh, for the previous month, like February 2022. We're going to start loading up the data from March 2022 and present that to you at the end of the month or beginning of April. 
that's going to do it for today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here like the dojo.com. You can get some sweet Surfing X merch and much more. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.